Hey folks, it's me, Parker Thune. Welcome to OU Insider Extra. Well, kind of. This video is releasing on both the OU Insider YouTube channel, the one you have come to know and love, and the brand new OU Insider Extra YouTube channel, which is going to be our homepage for all content related to EA Sports College Football 25, because we know that there are plenty of you out there that are as excited about this game and the long-awaited return of college football to gaming platforms as we are. So if you're watching on the OG OU Insider YouTube channel, there's a link in the description. It's gonna take you to the OU Insider Extra channel. Subscribe there if you love gaming content. We're gonna churn it out for you on a regular basis. And if you don't like gaming content, if that doesn't float your boat, A, give us a chance to change your mind on that because this game is so much fun. But also you may as well just subscribe because you like me. And if you don't like me, Shoot, subscribe because you love the Sooners. Either way, subscribe to OU Insider Extra. Please and thank you. Now, obviously, I'm a recruiting guy. I cover recruiting. I love recruiting. And so when this game dropped, Jesse Crittenden, Brian Clinton, and I spent the evening in our hotel room in Dallas on Monday evening, just knocking out quick games, kind of getting the feel for everything that this game entails. But as I continued to unpack the game, I really, really wanted to dig into Dynasty Mode and specifically the recruiting engine. And the question that immediately popped into my head was, can I out-recruit Brent Venables in the 2025 class? So folks, let's dive into this game and let's find out whether I, Parker Thune, am capable of out-recruiting arguably the greatest defensive mind that college football has witnessed in the last three decades. Now, ground rules, here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to simulate all in-season games. That way, I don't recruit at an astronomically good level just because I have the game running on the easiest difficulty setting imaginable. I'm not going to be winning games 70 to nothing and signing a number one class because nobody can compete with me on the field. No, we're going to leave it all up to chance. We're going to leave it up to the CPU. The CPU is going to simulate every single one of the games on the Sooners 2024 slate. So the results are out of my hands. And therefore, only my sheer recruiting ability is going to enable me to out recruit Brent Venables, which is the goal. This is going to be a series. There's so much to unpack with this recruiting engine. It's impossible to cover it all in one digestible video. So we're going to take an initial look. We'll see what dynasty mode has to offer in the recruiting realm. And we'll continue this effort over the course of several videos as I make an attempt to out recruit Brent Venables. Let's dive in. All right, we're looking at our homepage. Let's dive into Dynasty Mode. Here we are, single player. There's only one of me. Let's use the default rosters. Not giving myself any advantages here. Ooh, okay. Select your team, role, and coach. Obviously, Oklahoma is the team. I've got to be the head coach, right? If I'm out recruiting Brent Venables, I have to take his place. So let's, let's go ahead and make me the head coach. Oh, Motivator, recruiter, tactician. Well, definitely recruiter. I wouldn't consider myself a motivator, and I'm certainly not a tactician. Not a Brent Venables type tactician, at least. So, recruiter? You know what? I cover recruiting. I've been in that world for years. I get that. Let's go with recruiter. That is my archetype, if you will. This doesn't look exactly like me, but it's close enough that I feel like I can rock with it. Wait, maybe this one. Maybe this one's better. Is that one better? Yeah, it's probably a little better. 61190, folks. Those are my measurables right there. Obviously, my pipeline is going to be Oklahoma, because if you're the head coach at Oklahoma, you got the Oklahoma pipeline. Okay, so here we are in the off-season menu. It's the 2024 preseason. This is more or less right now on the calendar. July of 2024, I got to set up my recruiting board. I got to figure out who I'm going to recruit. So let's begin to take a look here. Got to figure out first off what my needs are. What am I going to need to replace next year? Where do I find that out? Oh, yeah, here we go. Team needs. Let's have a look. Okay. So need to recruit a quarterback. Need to recruit two quarterbacks, it says. Need two wide receivers. Need some offensive linemen. No doubt about that. And I'm probably going to recruit a running back because that's a really deep room. Feels like I'm probably going to lose one to the transfer portal. So I'll make sure to grab a running back, even though I don't technically need one. Defensively, need 
Three left defensive ends. Okay. A couple defensive tackles, some linebackers. A cornerback, a couple of strong safeties. That makes sense. I mean, we're losing Billy Bowman at the end of the year. And then, of course, got to recruit a kicker and punter. So let's go through this one position at a time. First off, here's what we're going to do first. Let's go and see what we got in the state of Oklahoma to work with in the 2025 class. Obviously, anybody worth their salt in the state of Oklahoma, I'm going to offer and I'm going to recruit. I'm going to sort these by rank. Oh. Number one player in the state is a running back, and he doesn't want to come here because he's not going to get enough playing time. You know what? I get that. Okay. Fair enough. You can go elsewhere, sir. Okay. Here we go. Number 201 player in the country, number four player in the state, is a defensive end named Trey Williams Jr. from Oklahoma City. We're going to go ahead and offer him. Defensive tackle, Frank Lewis. Yep, offer him. Insta offer. So I have 1,125 recruiting hours allotted. That's going to come into play here in a little bit. You'll see what I mean. But as we continue to navigate the state of Oklahoma, definitely want to offer this middle linebacker. Want to offer this strong safety. Got to offer the in-state kicker. Do I offer the in-state quarterback? Ooh, he's from Stillwater. His top school is Oklahoma State. That's probably not a battle I'm going to fight. He's a three-star. He can go to Oklahoma State. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go look at our pipeline in the state of Nebraska, which isn't technically a pipeline, but that's where I'm from. I'm going to build a pipeline there. Anybody in the state of Nebraska that's good enough at a position of need, we're going to offer them. Look at this. Bellevue, Nebraska. Coach Prestige. Looks like I barely meet his deal breaker requirements. 6'4", 249 at linebacker? Yes, all day. We're putting him on the board. Manny Cesario from Omaha, 6'5", 316, wants to get developed. That's an offer. Okay, now we're going to look at this position by position. We need to recruit not one, but two quarterbacks. So let's go find them. Number one quarterback in the class. Number one player in the class, Quincy Amonfu from Biloxi. Uh, he doesn't seem too terribly interested at the outset. Now you'll see over here, there's this interest column and it'll show you, for instance, this, this kid right here, Kevin Kennedy from Nashville. He's got a sixth on his list right now. We aren't even technically recruiting him, but he's got a sixth on his list. Do I pull the trigger with him? He is interested at the very least, which is more than I can say for these quarterbacks right now. Yeah, we'll put him on the board. Let's see who else likes us at quarterback. Tyler Kudavitas, Red Oak, Texas, 6'5", and a scrambler. Low four-star. Yeah, we'll put him on the board. Okay, on to halfback. Number 14 player in the country. He's got us in his top 10. Yeah, we'll take a swing. Deep threat. DeSoto, Texas, number three player in the country. Oh, he's going to be a longhorn. Not even going to bother with that. Yeah, he's got us third on his list. Not even going to bother with that. Ooh, look at this. Number 133 in the country. Has us in his top five already. 6'5", 217. Mm, yep, I'm adding him to the board. Okay, this kid's a deep threat, and his last name is Stoneburner. That is an instant offer. Okay, a couple of big-time offensive tackles from Texas. Both of them have some initial interest. Let's go ahead. Throw a hat in the ring. See what happens. 6'8", 291 at right tackle, number 134 in the country. Yep, yep, okay, we'll add him to the board. Going to keep the board pretty small initially. Let's offer two left guards, two right guards, and then we'll flip over to the defensive side. Javier Gash. Agile. I like agile guards. Okay, I'm intrigued. Ooh, look at this. This kid in Texarkana already has us number one. Yes. This guy's name is Matt Takeoff. I have to offer him, right? Okay, let's look at the defensive side. Who likes us? Tony Bourgeois. Cibolo, Texas. 6'3", 302. That's a defensive tackle. That's not a defensive end. Yeah, I don't care. I'm offering him. A five-star from Centerton, Arkansas. Okay. Consider my interest peaked. Already offered the Owasso kid. 
Who else likes us? Raekwon Ruggins. I like the sound of that. He's from Houston, 64296. That's pretty ideal size. Yep, okay. This five star from Houston has OU in his top three already? Okay. Okay, I will offer him. Wait, there's another guy named Stoneburner? Am I going to end up with multiple Stoneburners in this class? I hope so. Ooh, check this out. The number six middle linebacker in the country from Justin, two and a half hours away, already has OU number one. Yep, we're going to offer him. Of course, we need a cornerback. Need a cornerback. This kid's got OU in his top five. He's from Texas. Okay, I'll pull the trigger. Travis Neely. Evan Wing, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Slot corner. Okay. I can work with that. Guy with a little bit of versatility. Maybe he's the next Kendall Dolby. Uh, do I want to offer him or do I want to offer this kid from Texas? He's another slot corner. Probably got a better chance with a kid from Texas than a kid from Florida. Okay. Matt Byler, you're getting an offer. Congrats. Oh, we got a Calcaterra atop the board at strong safety. I feel like I have to offer him. I feel like I have to. I'm going to. Daquan Duke from Denton. Ooh, I want to own Denton. We already offered the Pujols kid from Tahlequah, though. Can I offer Daquan Duke? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, already offered that kicker from Oklahoma. Now I got to find a punter. Does anyone want to come here? Is there any punter that wants to come here? Carlos DeBose. Uh, okay, sure. Okay, so I've made my initial offers. Well, I guess I haven't made them yet. I have to go and make them manually. Should I be offering them all before I scout them? Maybe, but I don't really care. I trust the recruiting rankings. I know the people that make the recruiting rankings. They're generally right about things. I'm really only offering blue chip dudes at this point. I haven't had to go down the board yet. So we'll offer them first and then maybe we'll scout them a little bit later on. Depending on how many recruiting hours we have at our disposal, we may scout all of them personally. But guys that are blue chips, according to the recruiting services, I'm generally of the opinion that you can't, you can't go too terribly wrong. Man, I didn't even realize it, but I hit the scholarship number right on the nose. You can only recruit 35 dudes at a time. That punter that I offered at the very, very end, that was the 35th dude I've offered. So I've got a full recruiting board right now. Offered all of these dudes. Let's advance one week and see what happens. Okay. So we've advanced a week. Let's go into recruiting. See what's gone on, if anything, with any of these dudes. Let's look at our top targets, the in-state guys. Uh, Trey Williams, Frank Lewis, Sammy Gainwell, Daniel Pujols. They all have OU first. So does the kicker from Oklahoma, Tavares Gaydosh. That's an interesting name, Tavares Gaydosh. He likes Oklahoma the best. That's good. That's good. And then this other, I think this is, might this be the only kid that I offered, non-special teamer, that's a three-star, Trent Teal from Edmond. He's got OU as his top school as well. So, looks like we're in a good spot with every single one of the in-state offers. These six kids right here. All of them are in-staters. They've all got the offer, and Oklahoma is on top right now for all of them. So what are we going to do? What's the first order of business? Well, I don't really need to search their social media. I don't even know. Oh, we're down to 900 recruiting hours. How did that happen? Do I have more in the off-season than I do during the season? Regardless. Uh, let's send a bunch of DMs. Let's do that. We'll send a bunch of DMs to all these guys. And then we'll, uh, then we'll see what happens from there. Sliding into the DMs. That's what we're here to do. That is step number one of the recruiting process at my program. Sliding into the DMs. All right, so here we go. I've DM'd 35 players. Still got a bunch of recruiting hours to work with. How about we just, let's scout the in-state kids. Going to go all the way back up to the top. The six in-state offers, let's just go ahead and scout them all. Okay. All these guys look like pretty solid football players so far. What the hell good does throwing on the run do for a kicker? Why do I need to know he's got a 22 throwing on the run grade? 
Okay, scouted all the in-state guys. That's done. Let's go ahead and advance one more week, and we'll leave it there for this video. If we get any decisions made, anybody cuts their lists down, uh, then we'll adjust accordingly. Okay, look at this. A lot of the guys have reached their top eight. Hmm, okay. Apparently I'm in danger of losing Javante Barnes and Emeka Megwa via the portal. Uh, we'll deal with that later on down the line. Uh-oh. My top target is now highest on Oklahoma State. Looks like Oklahoma State is recruiting him hard. I may have to send the house. But that's all for today. That's a job for tomorrow. All right, folks, we're off in Cruton in EA Sports College Football 25. Keep an eye out for the next video on the OU Insider Extra YouTube channel. And follow the saga as I make an attempt to out-recruit Brent Venables in the 2025 class. I'll see you next time.